There are just a very quick one. In this video, I am going to share with you guys how you can convert your BTC, Bitcoin to USDT or any kind of coin at all to USDT, which is a stable coin. All right. And we're going to be doing this through KuCoin. Now, KuCoin and Binance is also similar, you know, when it comes to their interface. I'm going to share with you guys how you can convert any coin at all. You know, you guys know that Bitcoin, if Bitcoin goes up, your money goes up if it's in Bitcoin. If it goes down, your money also goes down if it's in um, Bitcoin. All right. So the only way you can secure the exact amount that you have in your wallet is by converting your Bitcoin or any other coin to USDT, which is a stable coin. So even if Bitcoin goes up, if you have 500 or 1000 or 100 dollar there, what will still be there is the same amount. Now, if you have your money in Bitcoin and if Bitcoin goes down, your money also goes down. But if you have that money in USDT, which is still a stable coin, even if Bitcoin or any other coin goes down, the money still remains. If it's 500, it's 500. If it's 100, it's 100. If it's 1000, it's still 1000 um, dollars. The only place it can affect you is when maybe dollar drops so if you're trying to change it maybe you're going to change at that current rate if dollar also goes up if you're going to change your money you're going to change it at a very high rate so what i'm going to share with you guys here is how you can convert any kind of coin to usdt which is a stable coin now i am going to take over this phone and i am going to i'm going to use this phone that i'm using to record myself to do that and we're going to switch to my laptop camera and I'm going to walk you guys through on how you can do that just within a few seconds. So guys, what we need to do now is just to go to KuCoin app. Just come and search for KuCoin app. Okay, open KuCoin. And um, we're in homepage, which is down left down corner of the phone. So, Let's go to assets, which is the right down corner of the phone. Now, when you come here, you will see that the total money I have here is like um, $210, all right? Now, let's go over to funding. If you go to funding, you will see that I have $159 in USDT and I have um, $51.5 in BTC. So what I'm trying to do here now is to convert this $51.5 BTC to USDT, all right? So that even if Bitcoin is going down, this money is still going to remain the same amount. So what we have to do now is to come over to trade. Once you come over to trade, you can see automatically we're on spots. Now shift and go to convert. Once you get to convert, BTC is already here. Now, in case if you have your money in other coins, you can select this from here by clicking here. And there are a whole lot of coins here. You can now, instead of scrolling and scrolling up and down, you can now just come here and search the name of the coin that you, where you have the money. Although, um, once you have money, most of the coins that you have money will be listed on top. So in, I want to convert the BTC, which is 51.5 to USDT. As you mean, I want to convert my USDT to BTC. What I need to do is come here, select USDT. You can see USDT have 159 is still on top and BTC have 51.55. If you click on USDT now, is telling me you convert to BTC. You can still convert to any other coin apart from BTC. Now, if you click on max 159, you can still type only 100 and that I want to convert only $100. But I'm not trying to convert my USDT to um, BTC. I'm trying to convert my BTC to USDT because USDT is a stable coin. Now, Now I'm going to go to here and select BTC and click on max. I want to um, convert all the money. 
So when you click on max, you can see the max is 51.55, but what you're going to get is 51.4 of four um nine. There's a little charges when you're doing all this conversion. So the next thing you need to do is just to click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, you can see it brought out this and it's telling you BTC from BTC to years is 51.44. That is what that is what you're going to get. And click on confirm. Once you click on confirm, it's going to roll you received 51.44 um, USDT. So I've converted the BTC I have in this wallet to USDT so that it's going down. This is going down. It's not going to go down. Even if it's going up, it's going to add value. It's going to increase in the amount. But just to be on the safe side, I just want to share with you guys how you can convert any of your coins to a stable coin. So when you come to asset now and go to funding, okay, go to funding. If you go to funding, you notice that BTC is no longer here because I've converted all the BTC. So what you're seeing here is um usdt and if you come to this usdt um let's refresh it a little bit okay i think it's in okay let's go to overview okay the usd that converted is in trading all right and the one i had there before is in funding so in my next video i'm going to show you guys how you can transfer from trading to funding because you must have your funds in funding before you can be able to trade and sell your money to get um naira or or whichever thing you want to do even if you want to buy um perfect money and all that but i don't know if you can buy perfect money on kucoin i will still check it out i made a video on how you can buy perfect money on Binance, and i think i'm going to put it at the end of this video as well for those of you that wants to buy perfect money but in my next video i'm going to show you how you can transfer from um the money in your trading to your funding and from your funding to your trading so that is all i want to share with you guys in this video now you guys can see how easy it is for you to convert any kind of coin to a stable coin which is usdt and um if you think this video was helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're watching my video for the first time my name is asuka nakinsley and on this channel i give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps on a daily online space but during the weekend i try my best to give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my videos make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to be notified once I upload the new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Like always, you guys should stay creative and remain blessed.